Okay, in this video I'm going to show you a couple of common mistakes that might happen and how to fix them. Right, so, first thing is if you lose your browser, I know you've already watched a video on this, but I just wanted to show you again. Uh, you click on view because you've lost one of the views. Okay. User interface and browser. You notice also the view cube is on here, that right there, the view cube. Okay, because that's also another part that's really important. I click on browse. All right, browser. Let me go back to my 3D modeling. All right, so over here in our browser this is what we're going to be using. So what happens if my blue cube, notice that uh, it's not a square like it should have been. It's a rectangle. And so I'm going to need to fix it. Okay, so how do I go about uh, fixing that? So right here in this one, my uh, extrusion number three, you can tell is the back part. Extrusion number four is the front. Then I click the little plus next to it. And I've got my sketch. So I'm going to right click on sketch and I'm going to edit it. All right, so now I've got this one is 1.5. And this one's 1.75. So that's my problem there. I'm going to double click. Most of the time, the reason why you might have a problem is because you didn't dimension. Not that you dimensioned it wrong. Or you know, maybe you did. But I'm going to change that. I double clicked and made sure that this is highlighted in blue. I'm at 1.5. Right. Let me hit finish sketch. And it's going to fix it for me. Now this one is too short. So I hold over it, and I can tell that my sketch uh, is not the problem. It's my extrusion this time. So whenever I look at my sketch, I look and say, yeah, it's 0.75 and 0.75, so that must be right. So it must be my extrusion that's wrong. So I right-click on extrusion. This time I'm going to edit my feature. Right? The sketch wasn't the problem. The feature is the problem. So I'm going to say, Edit feature, and oh, I made it one inch. All right, so I'm going to click on it, and it was supposed to be two blocks long, which is 1.5. Or again, I could have done my math uh, in it, but so 1.5. Hit enter. All right, so those problems are fixed, and then I would go ahead and save it in the correct way. Also, what happens if you end up where you you really wanted like maybe this view to be your front view instead of this one. Obviously, uh, you wouldn't want that. But uh, say you get something wrong where this is showing as your front view because you picked the wrong plane. In that case, you would turn it to the way that you actually want to be your isometric view so that it's showing the, uh, the front view in the correct way. Okay, so you turn it the way that you want it. Then up here on the little house, you're going to right click and you can set this current view as home, right, to a fixed distance or fit to view. And I always pick fit to view personally. So that way, if I do make changes, it's going to, uh, you know, go ahead and make those adjustments at that time. Or say I really want this to be my front view, right? And it's telling me that it's my right view. So I can right click on here, I can go down to set current view as, and click this as my front view. Okay, and now it's fixed it on my cube for me. Okay, so here's another common problem that you might see. Notice I have a yellow, notice I have a yellow line around my cube. What that means is you have a sketch that you opened and you finished, but then you didn't use. So it's an unused sketch. If you go over here into the browser, you'll see I've got Sketch 4. Sketch 4 uh, never got used. So I need to delete it. So I'm going to right click. And I can either turn off the visibility if it's a sketch I might use later. I can turn off the visibility. So that way later I can turn back on the visibility and use it. Or in this case, I'm not planning on using it. So I'm going to go ahead and click delete. And that cleans it up nicely so you don't have yellow lines around things. And then I would go ahead and save it again. 
All right, let me know if there's any other problems that you might see so that I can make a video or just come over and help you on it, okay?